we go. Princess Step, Spring 22, Week 4, and the topic tonight is bras and apparel. So first of all, just a few basic things about apparel. Um, let's talk about moisture transfer or moisture wicking and why that's important. If you were exercising in cotton sweats and a cotton t-shirt or a cotton sweatshirt and you're sweating and it's warm like this, that the, the moisture, first of all, the cotton's going to retain the moisture because that's what cotton does. Like a towel when you get out of the shower, it's really effective and efficient and good at retaining moisture. That's what it's supposed to do. And why that's not so good uh, when you're exercising, if it's hot and that fabric is retaining the, the moisture, it's actually trapping the heat inside. So that's not going to help you cool down. Um, in contrast, if it's cold and that fabric is retaining the moisture, it's also retaining the temperature of the air, which is cold. And so the fabric of today is engineered to wick the moisture, being moisture wicking, moisture phobic, allow for moisture transfer. And that's why all the socks that you see, with a couple of exceptions that are wool, and wool is actually very moisture phobic, um, uh, for the most part, it's a polyester blend or a synthetic blend. Um, all the bottoms, whether it's tights or pants or shorts, all the tops, uh, the bras, pretty much everything with one rare exception, um, and I'll talk about that in a second, um, is a synthetic blend or a polyester blend in order to wick the moisture. Take that sweat from your skin and, and it gets on the fabric and it spreads out and dissipates. The one exception is our bridge shirts over there. They're a 30-70, 30% cotton, 70% polyester blend, and they're super soft because generally people like to wear a design like that, an iconic design like the bridge, um, afterwards or um, you know, down you know, to the coffee shop or, or to a pub or whatever. And you can wear it when you're walking and running and exercising. And they, the, the industry considers it performance cotton. It's blended with 70% polyester. So you can still wear cotton. There's nothing, I mean, I know some ultra runners who like to wear cotton because they want that. They want to hang on to that moisture, but that's a whole different story. So uh, now let's talk a little bit about fit. And I'll be doing something different um, tonight that I haven't done before. So I'm kind of excited about that to see how it goes. Um, but some people like their gear to fit fitted. They like it tight. Some people like it semi-fitted and some people like it loose. It's not black, white, right, wrong. It's how your, what your personal preference is in terms of how you like the apparel to fit. And so brands have their own idea of how apparel should fit. Um, I will say that in nearly 25 years, I've tried my best to have everything from extra small to 2X and 3X. The unfortunate thing right now is just like we talked about um, when John talked on week two about the shoes and allocation, um, brands are, uh, they can only make so much, so they're allocating it to the middle of the road, so to speak. They're not allocating as much effort and time and money to making those fringe sizes. So I am having a harder time getting the extended sizes right now, and it kind of crushes me but I have a few items that I'll tell you about that I did get in that I'm kind of excited about. Um, Karen, where's Karen? Karen already scored. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so just those are some general considerations. When you um, try on the, you know, the gear here, and that's exactly what we want you to do is try it on, experience it, feel it next to your skin, Talk to people who have experienced non-cotton gear and see what they have to say about that. Um, you know, today is probably the warmest day we've had all year. 
it's pretty sweet out there. I see some short, I see skin. I see skin. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to shift uh, to bras. And I'm going to talk very sincerely about bras. Bra fitting is something that, you know, when I got into occupational therapy, I never really thought about bra fitting so much. But now I'm in this industry and I have learned over time that it's really, really important, not just for comfort, but for breast tissue health. And it doesn't matter if you're a nearly A, like me, and I get to wear the brand called Handful, because that's about what I got, um, or if you're a F, 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 G, H, I've even fitted some eyes before, okay? And that eye person, bless her heart, had to wait several months to get the insurance to get a breast reduction. Um, and, that, and that's real. Those of you that are larger, you know, it can contribute to neck pain, shoulder pain, hunched over. Um, it's harder to breathe because there's so much there. So that's where the right supportive bra can really help. Um, I've seen, you know, we talk about princess steps and good form. I've seen women do this before when they're trying to walk and run because they're trying to hold them in. Um, bless her heart, I had a, an 11 year old yesterday that didn't have a bra on. She was probably five times bigger than me. She clearly, and she was getting into track. And I knew that she was super, super shy. I had already worked with her with shoes and I thought I cannot approach her with this. She's gonna be too embarrassed. But when the mom came in to pay for the shoes, cause mom was outside watching the four little kids, I said, I said to the mom, hey, come over here, I wanna show you this. Your daughter, could, does she have a, a sports bra for track? And the, and the mom said, oh my gosh, thank you so much. No, she doesn't. I said, well, I can help her out. We have some downstairs in the closeout section. And sure enough, she got a couple of them. But it wasn't on mom's radar even. You know, and bless her, that little girl, it would have been embarrassing. It would have been uncomfortable. She may have quit. And that has happened. I know it. So it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. Um, I had a 70 plus year old, not one of the princesses here uh, last week. Um, and I was working with her and she, and I knew I had the right size for her, but I went in there and she said, I, Susan, I can't get it hooked. And she was trying to hook it back here. And it was one that you could hook. And I thought, oh my heavens, she had never known in all her years that she could hook it in the front and swivel it around. And then get in it because you have a lot more strength with your arms going this way than you do going this way i never learned how to hook because i didn't need a hook so not everybody needs not everybody knows how to hook behind their back but a lot of people do because that's what they grew up with so there's a lot of considerations and sincerity and compassion i have for bra fitting and i take it very seriously um, I just wish I had more females on my staff so I could teach them how to profit. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, this one right here is what we call conventionally, traditionally, a tea back. It looks like a tea. Okay? This is one for somebody like me or those of you that are smaller. Um, we don't need a lot of adjustability. Um, uh, but the wider band is going to be more supportive and that said, even smaller chested people, sometimes if it's too tight right here, our lungs expand so much, it's hard to breathe. And so sometimes um, maybe I'm an extra small here, but I need to go to a small or a medium here just so that it's not too tight in the band. But that said, again, one of the most important things about support is a secure band. And so, um, so I don't forget, I'm gonna talk about the sister size. Sometimes people think they might be a 36C or a 36D around in there. And I take a look at them and I've been doing it so long, I can say, you know what, you're really more of a 34D double D. And sure enough, what the reason why eight out of 10 women wear the wrong size is they're trying to get their bra, their exercise bra to fit like a day bra which when you're in the, during the day, you're at your office, you're you know moving around, but you're not doing high impact usually, okay? Unless you're 
training horses or whatever. Um, and so the secret to supporting the breast tissue when you're moving, and you walkers, that is high impact. Running, high impact. There's a lot of movement. Studies show that the girls move in a figure eight, okay? And so the sister size, if say you're a 36D, the sister size would be down to 34, down a band size, up a cup size to double D, okay? So you have the extra coverage. So down a cup, down a band size, up a cup size. Now that said, that theory doesn't always apply to my older customers. And that's just my own personal experience. So knowing that, I might give her options, but I'm gonna know that if she doesn't want it too tight here, I'm not gonna make it too tight because she's not gonna be comfortable. But for the most part, the sister size works really, really well. And women are just shocked and surprised about that. Okay, so now this one right here, I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> um, this one's called the Y back. This one is from the brand called Handful, and there's no adjustability on it, but there are cups and the and the or pads um, that you can leave them in or take them out. Some people like to leave them in if they're wearing a uh, thinner top and it's the air conditioner's on and you're nipping out, I call it nip prevention. And some people like to just say, this is who I am, this is me. They don't want the extra padding. The extra padding can add an element of warmth. And if you don't want that warmth, then you might not want it. Um, this one on the other hand, it's, you can see the spaghetti straps, it's called the adjustable because you can adjust those spaghetti straps to go straight back or crisscross. And this one, as you can see, in contrast to this one, this one has a wider band and wider straps. This one's going to be more supportive than this one. This one has pretty much become my day bra because it's so dang comfortable for me. And it can also be very comfortable if you're a double D doing yoga, that kind of thing. Okay. So I'm going to come back to those in a little bit. Now, this one right here is called the racer back. And she's gotten some reinforcement. Um, this one is not even up here right now. It's in the basement because I've been, I've been trying to sell out of her predecessor. Um, and you can see, I'll just cut to the chase here. Can you see how I'm moving this band right here? See how easy it is for me to stretch that band? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why these are 30% off. And if you come in, between now and the end of the clinic and you say, Susan, I'm in the women's clinic, I'll give you 40% off because I need to get rid of these because see this again? Now look at the difference between that and this. I can hardly move it. Can you see? I'm pulling on it with the same tension and it's not moving. They significantly reinforced this strap and um, there's even a trick to doing it to where you can take it out of this little loop, unhook this. The old version used to be Velcro. They got rid of the Velcro one, which people, how many people had the Juno? Remember the Juno? Yeah, they got rid of the Juno. They went to this one, they botched it, admittedly, and then this is the 2.0 that replaced this racer bag. So the thing about it is, if you can put it on over your head, hook up behind your back, you're golden. If you can't hook it behind your back, I have a secret how you can hook it in the front. And you have to come and do a bra fitting with me to find out. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go to this one. Same thing, this one, wait a minute. Okay, this one was the, the racer back. You can see that racer back? I had it mixed up there, racer back. This is the racer back two, okay? Significantly improved. Not only that, but they um, they put, it's perforated. It's got holes in here to help with that moisture management. I don't know if you can see it in there, holes. Okay, so now this one, moving to the scoop back. This is the old scoop back. This is scoop back two. Same thing. They reinforced from, here's the old straps. See how much that's stretching? Okay, if you don't, if you're okay with this one, then you got a screaming deal. If you want reinforcement, you still get your 10%, but look at how much that's reinforced. 
Plus, you've got the perforated perforations. Um, you got mesh in the back, perforations in the front. They really put a lot of thought and effort into revising these bras to make them even better. Okay, I still need to get rid of the old ones. Okay, and part of the problem is the new ones came about the time of COVID when all the women and studies have shown this. A lot of women didn't. They didn't even wear bras for the whole two years because they were at home. How many people were at home and didn't wear a bra? That's what I'm talking about. Okay? So now I have a surplus of bras. All right. So now let's go to the underwire. This one has underwire, additional support. Um, they, re they, they put the perforations in the new underwire. They also um, added straps to where you can actually crisscross this. You can crisscross it for additional support. But honestly, if you leave it in a scoop back, you can hook it in the front, swivel it around. If you put it to crisscross, then you've got to be able to put it on over your head and hook it behind your back. Unless you have a buddy or a partner or whatever that's going to help you do that. But it significantly does increase the support when you crisscross it. That's why when we talk about... Um, you know, are you doing high impact, low impact? If you're doing low impact, you might, and you're more, you know, well endowed, you could probably get away with the spaghetti straps doing kind of like yoga, because that's not high impact. Okay, if you're doing high impact, you want the wider straps. Um, the, the new ones here, this is called separation encapsulation. We've got the cups, okay? When you add the element of a racer back, you've still got the separation encapsulation to support the girls, but then you're adding an element of compression with this racer back. So if you're one of those people that wants them, you know, not necessarily smashed, they're not going to be uniboob when they've got this separation encapsulation, but you want to really limit that movement more, then you might want to try the racer back, okay? Um, and then we also have this gray one here. You can see the extra seams in this one that you did not see in any of these new Brooks models. Um, this, this brand is called Anita International. And Anita has been worked really, really well for, for us for the last 8, 10 years. Um, I brought it in specifically to accommodate my larger women. But now that Brooks is going to F, 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 G, um, about 98% of my customers do fine now in the Brooks, in the larger sizes. I'm phasing this out, which means it's going on sale too. So if it works for you, again, you got a more than 10% deal, okay? So that's my song and dance about the bras. Any questions about the bras? Okay, I'm going to go through my notes because I have... I had um, one of the older models, um, and maybe it's just too old, but it, it's like buckling up now, like across here, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Is it just older? It, yeah, if it's old. I'm going to talk about the old a little bit. Um, um, band secureness is going to fade away in time because it stretches. Also... Our body's natural oils are going to get in the fabric, even through washing. Okay? If it's old, what's that say up there? Up there? Celebrate a birthday. No bra should celebrate a birthday. So if it really is old, then... Okay. And that's the other thing. If it's stretching out, it's not going to have that secureness. Um, and also, it's not going to have the moisture wicking part because the, the fabric the breathability, which allows moisture transfer, is getting clogged by our natural oils. So basically, if you have old bras, I know they might be sentimental, but <laughs> get rid of them. Was there another question? There's, there's one over there in the corner. I yeah. Just, I, I just wanted to ask about care and washing and, and that kind of thing. For yeah, bras. that's a great question about care and how do you wash it. I wash all of my bras in cold water, and most of them, I hang them to dry. Most of them, I hang them to dry. And that's pretty much what the care, the hang tags will say. 
If you put them in a dryer because you're in a hurry for it, then A, you need another one. If your favorite bra is in the laundry, get another one. Um, um, but also, they're just going to last probably a little bit longer. And if they do have the hook and eye, uh, it is suggested to hook it, put it in a laundry bag, and wash it that way. Um, I don't wash them by hand. I don't have that time. <laughs> but I will, I will hang it to dry. Any other questions? Okay. Um, also, let's see. I said 8 out of 10, band secureness. Um, there's also, with augmentation, which is a boob job for those of you that don't know, I have found from my personal experience fitting that the people who've had augmentation don't, they don't move as much. So they may be able to do just fine with that older model that the band was a little stretchier. They might be just fine. Okay. Whereas somebody that has a lot of movement might want the reinforced band option. Um, mastectomy. Those customers who've had mastectomy sometimes really like the handful because you can actually put extra pads in there if they've, you know, if they need to balance out and that kind of thing. Um, oh, and one final thing. You never should ever have to double bra. Okay? I've had those customers too over all these years. They have to double bra because they don't have enough support. If you have the right support, you shouldn't have to double bra. I mean, who wants to take off a sweaty bra, let alone two sweaty bras, right? Okay? Um, so now I'm going to shift a little bit um, to shorts, actually. Um, most people wear, I mean, if you look out there on any given day at the park when it's not cold and yucky, you're going to see a lot of women wearing capris. So we pretty much all know about capris. Most capris these days, or now they call them crops, um, or they call them three-quarter, or we have some that are seven-eighths. That all just means they're not all the way down to the ankles, okay? But most of them these days, and most of what we have here, have pockets, because that's what women want. Some of them that are actually downstairs. Again, I needed to clear out space here. Um, that have five pockets, two here, two here, and one secure zipper pocket down there. And several sizes are down at the 30% off right now. Okay, so we have some awesome, nothing wrong with them. Um, capris down there that you get a screaming deal. I'm going to say goodbye, but I'll be back. I'm going to quickly do a, a change. <laughs> oh, wait. First of all, you see these shorts? They're on the shorter end of things. Um, and that's what I'm going to talk about is short preferences, short style. Okay, this is shorter. Um, there is a pocket back there. Um, and now I'll be back. Just to show you a different one. For those of you that saw my bra talk uh, before, this is kind of along the lines of that, only it's not bras, it's shorts. How many bras? I got on like eight bras all at once one time. Okay, now this short, you can see secure zipper pockets, um, some perforation there. Um, can you do me a favor? Look in there and see if you can see in the, just come over here. Look inside of here. Just look there. Can you see my shorts? Yeah. Okay, good. Thanks. That's okay. all I wanted to know. <laughs> um, a little bit longer, would you say? Yeah. A little bit baggier? Okay. So a different style. Okay. Hold on. But wait. <laughs> Okay. Shorter or longer? Shorter. Shorter. Okay. So, but there's still a pocket back there. Um, so for those of you that want them shorter, they're shorter. Now, hold on. What time is it? Okay. I got five minutes. <laughs> Down the line. <laughs> okay. Longer? It's actually the same short as the other one, only longer. Okay? So a little bit longer. It's got a zipper pocket right there. Uh, it's got another pocket in the back. 
So a little bit longer. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't practice this one, so I'm winging it. Okay. Longer. Open pockets. Okay. So. Could you do tennis? Maybe pockets. Pockets? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and a lot of these, some of these shorts too are like the capris, but they're shorts and so they're shorter. Some of them are the five inch, some of them are the seven inch, some of them are the eight inch. Okay, and now look at this one. And these are all the same size, by the way. They're all, look at that one. That one's baggier pockets longer you like that you like that comfy work it work it <laughs> okay i mean not you, I mean, you just saw like seven eight different styles of shorts and that's not all there's more but i'm not going to try them on right now um what i'm going to do is shift to these jackets i know it's not raining today but it's going to still rain these jackets are all brand new and um, they're springy, they're cute. Some of them were late getting here. Um, but they're super lightweight. They're not loud. Uh, they're soft. Um, this one here has amazing ventilation. You can see the ventilation here. It's perforated there. It's perforated all the way down the arm. Um, it's got style. Does it have a hood? This one doesn't have a hood, but this one does and this one does. Yes. This beautiful one has a hood. This one has a hood. And they're all rain resistant or water resistant. These are not waterproof. These are not waterproof. But look at this one right here. This one has ventilation in the back and that part's reflective, those black things. And it's got style. Um, and this one I have in a 2X. That's mine. <laughs> Did you get it? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> this one I'm excited because I do have it in a 2X. It's very yeah. soft. And I believe I have the pink one also in a 2X. So um, the, other, the only other thing I want to say about um, uh, the weather and apparel and gear and that kind of thing is it was Winfred who was it it's right behind you it's on a quote right there can you read that there is no such thing as bad weather only unsuitable clothing there is no such thing as bad weather only unsuitable clothing what year was that it says it's Alfred Wainwright quoted in the London Daily Telegraph it was a year okay and it's London yeah. Anyway, the, 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 the bottom line is, is um, and vests are some of my favorites, by the way. I love vests in this type of weather because you can layer it up, layer it down, and um, um, there. Um, in the spirit of consistency, you don't want to have the lack of appropriate gear to be an excuse for not getting out there mm -hmm. you want to be ready no matter what with your gear and so that's the apparel and bra fitting talk mm -hmm. uh thank you for listening um i don't even remember what next week is what's next week rolling out with trigger point is next week rolling out with trigger point it's one of my favorites yeah, how many people roll out? Roll, baby, roll. Okay, well, that's next week. So, signing off for now. Have a great week. <laughs>